Hi everyone, I've been developing a plugin for iClone and I just wanted to quickly show you how it works. So I'm just going to add a character actually just to iClone 8. So I'm just going to add CC4 Kevin and Kevin's one of the characters that's got the CC4 extended blend shape facial profile which you need for this plugin. So I'm then going to go into plugins and virtual filmer face animation importer. And then all you do is choose which format you want to import. Rococo, face cap, LiveLink face AR kit or LiveLink face MHA, which is MetaHuman. And there's various rings that you have to jump through to actually get them into these formats, which I'll quickly go through, but let's do the LiveLink face. When you record a LiveLink face AR kit, it actually records as CSV. And so this one's actually the easiest format to import. All you need to do though, is when you import a take and transfer it to your computer, it comes across as a movie, a QuickTime movie, and you just need to transcode that into a WAV, an 8-bit or a 16-bit WAV. So I'm gonna click on browse here next to CSV. And I've got a folder here just with some example files. I'm gonna choose this one here. And then I'm also gonna choose the WAV file that goes with that. And then I'm just gonna say import facial animation. All it's doing is obviously importing it, but the code goes into fixing frames because the frames are really screwed up uh, when they come over from live link face and translating the, the blend shapes. So then all I need to do is turn on my expression layer for Kevin. And then I just needed to slip this sound by 15 frames for whatever reason it's always 15 frames out of sync so then i'll just play through this so you can see it another test to see if this actually is working for the head and i'm just moving my head to the left and i'm just moving my head to the right and now i'm moving my head up and now i'm moving my head down straight ahead and now tilting to the etc so that's working quite well. Now, obviously there's the other formats in here. If I go in and if I want to do a Rococo format, it's gonna say you need a CSV in Rococo format. Now, this is all being built in Python. And right now inside iClone, there's no access to FBX import, unfortunately, inside the Python API for iClone 8. It's a real pity. And if anyone, wants to fix that at Reillusion, please be my guest, that would be amazing. But you, what you have to do is, unfortunately with FBX files, we're gonna to have to use Blender, which is free, so it's not gonna cost you anything, but you've gotta go outside of the program and in Blender, I provide a script and that script converts it to a CSV. So I've already done that process. So I'll just, I'm gonna just delete what's on there and then go back in there and open the Rococo ROM. So this is just a range of movement test CSV just to show what it's doing. And I've still got a sound file on there, which I can get rid of. So all this is doing is going through the blend shapes. Now, Rococo and Livening Face AR kit are obviously just AR kits. They're just using the 52 AR kit blend shapes. They're not using the full CC4 extended facial profile, which of course is basically as the same as the MetaHuman full um, facial profile. So the next step of this process is to bring in MetaHuman Animator. And to bring in MetaHuman Animator is a little bit different. And I'm gonna make another video about that. But what you have to do in Unreal is make your MetaHuman animator animation as you normally would make a sequence and then export that sequence using a special Python exporter that I've made. And that converts it into iClone CC4 extended facial blend shapes. All you need to do then is go in here and go live link face MetaHuman animator format CSV. But it's really important to note with MetaHuman Animator that you can't render MetaHuman Animator animation outside of Unreal. You have to use their engine to render it. 
Otherwise you're going against their terms of service. So it's really important that if you're going to use this, you're going to use it as part of the iClone workflow into Unreal Engine for either FBX or LiveLink straight to Unreal Engine 5. And this is really similar to the way that Epic allows you to use Maya to animate metahumans. And in theory, you could just press render inside of Maya, but you can't, you're not allowed to, even though you physically can, you have to go to Unreal to render. And it's the same thing here. You can use other tools, but any kind of rendering has to be done in Unreal. Check out their terms of service for more information about that. Okay. Um, and then the other format that we haven't talked about is FaceCap and FaceCap is an app for iPhone. And it actually already has a really great way of exporting from the phone in a text format. And so what you can do is, this is not finished and it's not, <laughs> the coding is pretty terrible right now, but I'm in the process of coding this. It's fairly simple as well. It works almost identically to Rococo and LiveLink Face because it's the same thing, it's AR kit data. So all you do is go browse and then import the text file. So that's a quick overview of what the plugin does. I hope that all makes sense. And please let me know any comments or suggestions or questions in the comments for this video. Thank you so much for watching.